Welcome to Drawfee Break, the midweek freeform drawing sesh. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. Andy. Julia. Justin. Randy. Guys, we got the whole crew in. It's a, it's a family affair. Uh, the fires are lit. The logs are in place. Ooh, uh, that's toasty. We got logs. We got nogs. It's a it's a Drawfee holiday special. We're having a little secret Santa today. Yay! So the way this is gonna work, just like. Just like at an office. Exactly. It's just an inner office secret Santa. It's, it's all like our... we're all coworkers at an office doing a secret <laughs> Santa. <laughs> sorry, sorry to uh, sorry, sorry to get too real with you, but that is exactly what we are. Um, the way this is going to work is everyone has has been given a uh, a corresponding coworker that they are going to draw a, a picture for. Uh, we're going to be gifting drawings to each other, uh, starting with the newest employees, going all the way to the most senior. Uh, I'm going to be just doing the uh, the emceeing, but then maybe at the end I'll I'll draw a little picture for for you guys for my secret Santa, which is you, the audience. But first off, we've got Andy. Uh, Andy, who are you going to be drawing for today? I'm going to be drawing for Nathan. Whoa! Yay! Oh. What Christmas. a surprise! It's not a surprise to me. I picked all the names. Uh, there are no surprises to me. I am the secret master. Uh, I hold the all the spiders yeah, within my grasp. You just go go right in there. Okay. Do it. So okay. I'm so excited, a Andy. I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea you got me. You kept a secret so well. <laughs> all the way since yesterday when I all emailed everyone who they were yeah. drawing. So Andy, what did uh, what are you getting, Nathan? Uh, well, you're gonna have to figure that out in the course of drawing. Okay. Well, can Ooh, you? Okay, this is it's, not. It's really secret. It's it's so secret that like you don't even. It, this is like. That's my me, way of saying that I don't know yet. <laughs> this is like me unwrapping it. So like take let's all pretend. I mean this is real. What this is real, but for our audience, let's all pretend that we're sitting around a tree. Yeah. Um, we're all in our in our jam jams. Uh, and Nathan, just like how we do the office secret Santa, exactly. we all sit around a tree in our jam jams. And, and Nathan is is unwrapping this gift, which I guess is just a piece of paper. But uh, Andy, what what are you saying to Nathan as he's unwrapping this? Uh, well, I'm gonna put that in my drawing. <laughs> he's <Paul. just> gonna <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, you're you're being very there, there. <laughs> taking the taking the literal literal approach. I see uh, yeah. the old <laughs> the old literal high road. <laughs> and just drawing you two actually opening presents together. This is the pr it's 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 one of those like uh, feels, like things where free. you you look at you look at the thing and then it's a smaller version of it inside of it. So oh, like, Andy like a... is handing me a drawing of Andy handing me a drawing oh, of man. Andy is handing the... me a drawing. Is, are you, are you, is this a, are you inceptioning this gift? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm, is this, I'm being real super helpful right now. <laughs> he's, is this a straight he's up? Really, he's focusing on the craft. Andy, are you, are you doing oh, a? An are you nesting doll? Is this a nesting doll sitch? This is a matryoshka. <laughs> is it I matryoshka? I don't, know, I don't know how to. I don't know how to. Uh, how to pronounce that word? I think it's matryoshka. I thought. I, I was confused. Because I thought that Matryoshka was the the name of that uh, video My format that I used to watch anime on the internet, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's that too. MKV. Yeah, you're yeah, watching yeah. it. You're watching it actually inside of a, a Russian nesting doll. That's right. how that works. That's how they. That's how they are able to to keep it from uh, from copyright laws. That's how the codex works. It's, it's, it's just nested, nested so deep inside <laughs> the code. Uh, My gift to myself is drawing myself much skinnier than I am. <laughs> And and with the I, longest arm. I love. I really like how you drew my hair. Look it's at your yeah. tiny, look at your tiny it's, baby hand. Nathan. I've got I've got real tiny baby. Maybe hands. I bought you a better hand. <laughs> <laughs> a gift certificate for a better hand. It's like uh, I really, I was really hoping I'd get some new hands this year. I just I just hate it when artists draw themselves with unrealistic long hands. It's like, dude. Your hand doesn't look like that, man. We know you've got a shitty jank. We know you've got that janky arm. Quit trying to tell us that you've got such a beautiful long arm. I, if I meet you, if I, I meet you, we can't you all have beautiful long arms like. <laughs> good old, good old orangutan arms, Andy. I met That's Noob the Loser him. at a convention. Uh, dude did not have those sweet long arms that I've grown accustomed to. Got, <laughs> oh, his tail's showing. He did. Yeah, have Andy a, waited uh, a few months into his uh, his employment here to uh -huh. reveal the fact that he had a tail. That was impressive. Uh, it was like uh, we we all wondered why he wore those long jinkos that kind of wiggled a lot as he walked. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just thought he had a weird butt. Uh huh. <laughs> nope. It turns out tail. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be the guy who like drew attention to it. Oh man. Andy. Oh, you had a tree planted in my honor. <laughs> Perhaps his honor could be, you know, something. Else. No, it's honor. In All my right. backyard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a tree planted in your backyard. <laughs> Oh, that would be... Congratulations, you have a backyard now. You didn't have that before. Fun fun fact, when I mm-hmm. when I interned at uh, The Late Show, Paul yeah. Schaefer had a tree planted in my honor. Really? As, as, his, as his gift to me. Wow. What a- it- apparently, he used to buy the intern's uh, Thanks, wow. like bottle of fancy alcohol. Yeah. But I guess wh- he, was, he was feeling more philanthropic uh, I that guess, year. I guess so. Um, I really hope that, you know, you get to a point where you can... Meet Paul Schaefer again. Paul Shear? Paul Paul Shear. No, not Paul Shear. Paul Shear. <laughs> Paul Shear from the league. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought at first. I really hope you can get to a point in your life where you you meet uh, Paul Paul Schaefer again, and you just you can either buy him a tree, or like you can show him that tree, or or, uh, or I could just show him a piece of paper that says a tree has been planted in your honor because yeah. there's there's no there's no way to check that. That is the joke. <laughs> Uh, we did it. <laughs> Great work. All right, that's um, what a shitty gift. Way to way to start us out on <laughs> Thanks, a low Andy. note. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Going back to my seat now. You can't. <laughs> you okay, can't but wait. See so it. You, what? But leave your headphones because yeah. you're gonna need to come back for when someone gives you oh. your gift. Yes. Okay. I'll Actually, leave my headphones. Uh, Andy, I'm just gonna go and spoil it. Don't go anywhere because Justin's coming up, and guess what? Justin is your secret Santa. Justin's drawing for oh, me. Oh boy! <laughs> More clapping every time. Yay! Right? Yeah. Always clapping. Clap, clap, clap. Oh. You, you guys couldn't see it, but Andy was just wiggling his incredibly long arms like. Oh my gosh! <laughs> his hands don't meet. <laughs> They're too long. <laughs> guys, they it's can't. Justin. He's uh, he, a, a a fan favorite. Hasn't been on the show in a while. In a hot um, minute. But I believe uh, it was currently it's currently still winning the. Uh, the, the rivals the, challenge. The dog, the dog versus human penis uh, straw poll. Oh, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when I lose it? What, what do I have to do if I lose? Uh, I, I just be sad, I guess. No, oh, okay, I'll, I'll be sad <laughs> that you Maybe. lost to both a dog and human penis. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just knocking everything down. I hear that. I hear that. That sweet, uh, just tumultuous <laughs> this audio. Is, this is a real high tech setup we got going. Right yeah. now, well, I mean, again, it's like everyone's crowded around um, the modern day fire, which is you know your computer, which is my computer with your beautiful face on it. Exactly. Yeah, I, I get you to guys, watch you guys draw. You guys just get to see my beautiful face. If you get on Netflix, there's one of those like eight hour videos where you could just look at Caldwell sleeping, and, <laughs> like in place of a Yule log. It's <laughs> called it's a new, the yeah. It's a new thing. It's called the Yule Yule Well. <laughs> and it's log just well. me. Yeah, a log. It's just me uh, trapped in a well. <laughs> <laughs> just being like, hey, could you let me out, please? Could you let me out, please? I'm what very you, hungry. What are you filming this for? What is this for? <laughs> All right, so Justin, uh, Dorkly Illustrated Justin, is, is drawing a picture for Andy. Oh, what a charming rendition of my face. It, it looks like um, Andy has been stung by a million bees. <laughs> yeah. Was Andy's gift oh, did a you million get, bees? Did you get him a million bees? <laughs> <laughs> a million bee stings? That's a great gift. That's hard to get with all what because, with the bees. Because shortage. bees are bees are rare these days. Yeah, bees yeah. Because I, I took so many of them out of the <laughs> wild just to spite Andy. <laughs> Justin, are you responsible for the bee shortage? Uh, look, look I, I'm super busy right now with this drawing, so can't answer any bee related don't, questions. Don't do not don't shield yourself from the question. Do not evade. Answer so, the damn question. Are so you responsible? Busy. <laughs> so busy with Andy's presence. I can see your pant. Much like Andy's pants, when he's hiding his tail, your pants are just full of bees. I can see <laughs> him rumbling around in there. No, that's just how my body works. It just it buzzes and it wiggles a, a whole lot. <laughs> got, Everybody's got some real weird people here. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> got such weird stuff going on in their pants. <laughs> I mean, Nathan. <laughs> That's Nathan's really... just got a weird dong. I've just got, <laughs> I've just got a weird dong. Sure, sure. <laughs> I, have, I have chronic weird dong. My doctor had to had to break it to me. Yeah, you you go in. Long arm? You you go in for your checkup and the and you're like, so how's my dong, doctor? Good and normal? And he's like, oof, I, I hate to break it to you, but it is not that. This is uh this is the part of the job I hate. Just telling <laughs> telling people that they've got. They've got real weird dongs. 
You can still lead a perfectly normal life, even with a weird dog. Please but your, take this your, pamphlet. your dinger is going to be super hecked up for always. <laughs> super hepped up? Hecked. hecked. You got a hecked up dinger, on, and I, I apologize. I heard hept. I didn't know what that meant. Well, hep is like a weird uh, 1940s slang term for cool. So if you had a hepped up dinger, it means you got like, uh, your dinger's really on point. Uh, oh, yep, there we go. Uh, do, have you guys? Oh, there it is. Oh, you're making. <laughs> oh, no. Is it a pottery? Oh, is it a pottery no, I think wheel? I are you go, are you ghosting? Are is you guys this... ghosting together? Did you get Justin? Did uh, you get yeah, Andy? Justin, did you get Andy a a pottery lesson? Is that what's going on here? Well, he's gonna learn something, but I'm not sure it's gonna be pottery. Okay. Right is this like one of those? <laughs> All right. So is this a studio where like you you go and you you get to paint? Paint your own pottery? Is that what's going on? <laughs> this is a color of me mine that, that <laughs> is, is haunted. <laughs> this is a, a firebrush studio. I feel, like, I feel like there's a different name for it in every town. Oh, are you doing a different color now? Oh, That's no. The, Th this color. is the ghost color. Uh -huh. This is to indicate that the whatever behind you is non-corporeal. You, you guys joke, but if I could... Go to like Is a, it another a, Andy? Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> it the same, same thing I feel. Andy, the same eyes. <laughs> Andy's so disgusted with this gift that his his ghost is leaving his body. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Ghastly kisses. Oh. Please be Tony. Please be Tony. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Justin, I feel like you're trying to make this look like a bad thing, but like, sign me up. Get, <laughs> maybe, maybe next year, Caldwell. Get, I'm going to the Cool Springs Galleria in Nashville, Tennessee, so that I can go straight to the Color Me Mine Pottery <laughs> Studio there and get my, my ghost pottery lesson, complete with smooch and, and up to four colors of paint. <laughs> Which, who's this ghost boy? Is believe, it just another I, Andy? I, I, believe that's, I believe that's Justin. Justin, is that you? I don't, I don't know if it's Justin. <laughs> All can right, you, so... Most of us are, are white dudes, white dudes in, in our mid to late twenties with beards. I guess so if it was Justin; he would have glasses. Yeah, that's, that's see, true. that's the confusion part. But I guess true. like oh, so it's <laughs> it's Justin. There we go. There it goes. Mystery solved. Perfect. I was gonna say, I mean, he wouldn't need glasses in the afterlife uh, because you get you get you get twenty twenty back. You get twenty twenty back, no matter how bad your vision was when you yeah. died. You're not that's helping a sweet... me with that at all. To be no, honest. he's like being very distracting. Are... <laughs> he's got a super long arm too. Oh, he's not <laughs> even wearing he's together. not even wearing ghost clothes. <laughs> oh man, just, guys, th that's just a that's just a naked. So Justin, your gift we... was that you died. <laughs> <laughs> that's my gift to Andy that I am I'm no longer alive. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. All right. Look at that. <laughs> wow. What a pose. Let's recap. When you die, you get 2020 back, and you just get, like, amazing butt powers. <laughs> oh, I want to play this video game. I want to play the, like, indie Steam game oh. where you're trying to mess somebody up while they're while they're doing pottery. <laughs> You are a ghost who's trying to ruin someone's pottery experience. <laughs> R are you dead? Uh, who's uh, yeah, asking? Yeah, kind of answer that question. Who's asking though? Oh, oh it's, it's Andy. Andy. It's Andy. Well, because he's got his eyes closed, you can't see. <laughs> he doesn't know who's touching him. Oh, he's just gonna be saying something. So, are you also going to inhabit the body of Whoopi Goldberg at one point? For sure. That's kind of like. Um, that I feel like that's your your training uh, when you when you die, is you you get to control Whoopi Goldberg for a week as part of like you know that's like ghost. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how you graduate uh, from ghost school. That's one of her gimmicks on the View. Uh huh. Is today today's ghost. It's called Who's Ghost and Whoopi. Who's Ghost the, and Whoopi is the segment. It's now time for our favorite part of the View. Who's Ghost and Whoopi? <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> and she's like a president. What a beautiful thing you've done for me. This is... <laughs> what a gift. So, yeah, not only did you get him a pottery lesson, but you he's going, died. He's going back. Yeah. He's here's the thing done. Here's the thing about Justin is he will not stop drawing until the entire <laughs> frame is filled uh -huh. with That's, things. Yeah, Justin this is, this is something space. we learned when we had him on before. <laughs> oh, mercy. <laughs> what it? Well, all right. I, you know... Perfect. Oh no, is there another ghost? 
<laughs> is there an Justin, even lighter there ghost ghost behind you? <laughs> That's a great question, though. Like a lighter ghost who's doing can, that Justin. Yeah, I, I want to know that. Can ghosts ghost other ghosts? Yeah, when you become double dead. That's true. That's like <laughs> When you die as a ghost, you got to go somewhere. It's true. It's so sad. <laughs> it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bummed that uh, that Bill Cosby is on the out and out because I had a great idea for uh, a movie called Ghost Dad Two: Dub- Double Dead, Double Dead, Double Dead, Double Dead Dad, Dad. the Double Dead Dad. Merry right, Christmas, go. Andy. Yay. Great work. Yay. Somebody unplug uh, my headphones. I want to get out of here. Right. So, um, bye, Justin, bye, why don't Andy. You, why don't you slide over? And so then next up, I can't hear. Justin, slide. you there? Uh, I'm sliding. Why don't, why don't you enter the uh, the gifties throne? Uh, and Randy, if you would Randy, step on up. Yeah, I'll step on up. Um, I'm gonna have to make my way through the maze of sure. uh, courts. I, I understand that it's a bit treacherous over there. Uh, oh yeah, it's super dangerous. But you know, we're doing it for uh, the holidays. All the cords from the the lights on the Christmas tree that you're gathered around, right? Yes. Nathan promised me that there would be a Christmas tree. Yeah. Well. I mean, yeah, he promised you that, and he so did. we are not going to take that away from you. I would hope you wouldn't. All right, so uh, Randy, you've got Justin. I do have Justin. <gasps> Randy, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> I do, and uh, I've got I've got a little surprise for you. It's a oh, surprise yeah? to all of us. Do I have to close my eyes? Um, no. Uh, what okay, What yeah. I need you to do is guide me through this, because right now I'm trying <laughs> to figure out if I should draw something or if I should use the my favorite pen tool and. Pen something. Should or I get if, behind you, like like in Andy's drawing. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, J- <laughs> Randy, do you want Justin to ghost you? To ghost? Would you to like ghost me, to me ghost right you? now? <laughs> I feel like that well, would cheapen the the gift that he gave Andy true. a little bit. Oh, that's to, right. To no, just, I'm. Just uh, give it right back let's go to full it. value. And actually, let me let me just try my hand at drawing something right yeah, now. Yeah, I think now, it's, uh, it's the spirit of giving. All it's right. The thought that counts. Ooh, this is looking pretty nice. See this right here. This uh, this is actually part of your gift. See, you're very very fast at drawing. It's like super impressive. Mm-hmm. So why not give you an item, the only item that I can think of, that's as fast as you are. Is that? This this is a shoe. Okay. I got you a pair of shoes. <laughs> I thought and, it was a candy uh, corner. Is it a Sonic shoe? Oh, it's definitely a Sonic shoe. All right. Is, is it, it or is it just the shoe? It's, uh, <laughs> there's going to be two of them. <laughs> oh, just okay. the one. Right. You just get yeah. the one shoe. Yeah. You're going to have uh you're going to have oh, two man. Sonic shoes. Guys, what an amazing prank gift though. Just <laughs> just get some guy one shoe. <laughs> Guys. You know what? Maybe maybe you do deserve one shoe since it's such an amazing prank gift, it's but true. I mean it's amazing no. after all, right? Shut, you're ruining it, Caldwell. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, cool. He was going to give me two. He was, was going to give me two. You were going to get a whole... <laughs> I, I was going to get two shoes. Listen, like, in the spirit of Christmas, I mean, it's it's about giving, It's about right? giving. So, so maybe you just be giving with the, the fact that you're only going to get one shoe. I would rather have yeah. two. Well, I'd here's the thing. I'd rather two shoes. I like, I like this as like a carrot situation where you get one shoe now, and if you're good, if you continue to be a good friend, you're going to get that other shoe. You get a carrot. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, hey, so, hey, you know what? Why I, stop now? Now I'm just thinking Who about Who says you can't have your carrot now? Thank you. you. Know? Uh, the classic Icelandic tradition of the a carrot in the ca- shoe. Carrot in, you leave your shoes out uh, on, on carrot night. Uh-huh. And, uh, <laughs> and in the, if you've been a good yeah. boy, you get a, you get a, a fresh... I've seen carrots a, before. A fresh yeah. carrot. <laughs> a fresh multi-stocked carrot. Nathan, you're uh, talking. It's a good one. That's how you know it's good. You're and, talking about the. And if the, you've uh, been naughty, you uh-huh. get uh, you get an onion. You're yeah. talking uh, about the you classic. Know, you uh, get a little ballpoint pen in there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. You're talking about the classic Eastern European tradition of tuber knocked. Yeah. Yeah. Tuber, tuber knocked. Where where you give root vegetables uh, to your closest friends, you put them in their shoes, uh, and yeah, you leave them an onion. Uh, you, you put an onion uh, right right in their sock if they've been bad. If they've been bad, there we go. Mm-hmm. you know, because I'm your and then Santa and then you figured. and then you proceed to beat them with the the onion filled sock. Yeah, because like then that's you, great. You whip you whip them with it. Because then they're gonna start crying because of the onion, uh, but also because you're beating them. So it's like double tears. This this tradition uh, came about uh, in during a time period where onions were a much a much harder 
vegetable. Sure. Well, because it was were always basically, cold. They, they were inedible. They were they mm-hmm. were basically just rocks that grew, that grew. Well, they were rocks. <laughs> is the thing people did not people weren't able to distinguish uh, what an onion was until roughly 1920. Uh, so most people thought that rocks were just a type of onion. Uh, yes, for, for those of you that don't know, uh, Randy is a very talented designer here mm-hmm. at, uh, at at College Humor. He um, doesn't doesn't do much uh, drawing on on tablets, but uh, but he's doing his you, best. You could, the The composition of this piece, is, right? Is yeah, I can I can fantastic. fit a whole lot of type here. Mm-hmm. You know, if, I, if this were going to be an actual Christmas card, I can put like a whole. Two, you know, yeah. ellipsis. That's not an ellipsis. That's a colon. That's a colon. A colon is just an ellipsis oh, that someone it's turned the, on their side yeah, and, and like, erased one. Exactly. <laughs> That's I, all it is. I, I feel like I don't actually have to explain myself. One, like one of Randy's classic you know. type goofs. <laughs> From. <laughs> <laughs> so this is great. See, see how close that was to being an ellipsis? Yeah. Well, I like this because now if you take out the word Justin, this can be a Christmas card for anyone. Like anyone would be happy to get this sonic sneaker this sonic, full of sonic shoe, full writing of, utensils and two and uh, root vegetables. A, yeah, it's a sonic shoe uh, mm. desk holder, uh, desk organizer in the spirit of Office Secret Santa. This, oh, so this course. is a ceramic. This is the, yeah. This is a ceramic shoe that uh, that Andy made in his uh, in his yes. pottery <laughs> class. I think I'm done. I'm uncomfortable drawing. Thank you. Okay. No, you did great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, it Randy. doesn't say I love it. it doesn't yeah. say who it's to or from them. No, because <laughs> as, they you are know, left that, blank. That's, that's not my concern as a designer. You know, you fill in the blank. I give you the idea. That's right. right. Do we, a, do good designer, yeah, a good designer. A good designer shouldn't shading. have to. There you go. Uh, that's maybe some speed <laughs> lines. Good? Yeah. Oh yeah. It, it's it looks like it's always moving. It could moving. potentially it's go fast. Going fast. <laughs> it may it go fast. It may it go fast. And may and may and may it go fast. May we all we go, all fast. go fast on this <laughs> on this blessed. Uh, holiday season. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, is it, you, is it me? Am I uh, up? Am I up Nathan, to Nathan, you are up. Oh boy. Oh boy. I got uh, I got Julia. What? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. It's true. I'm I'm drawing Julia's gift. Um, oh man. Nathan Julia, got come, come join I'm excited. us. Nathan actually got Julia the other shoe. So <laughs> <laughs> sorry to spoil it. Um, oh, wow. So, the secret has been revealed. Uh. So Julia, yes. I, uh, I I I wasn't sure what the what the prompt was. If we were, were, were drawing you, what we would get you if we could get you anything. I think that I everyone's thought. taking it in their own unique direction. So so Julia, uh, two things about Julia that I know is she. Uh, There's only two. <laughs> she she's a big she's a big fan of uh, Legend of Zelda. I am. And she has to commute on <laughs> the do. on the. <laughs> On the Long Island Railroad. Great, great deets. <laughs> Sol- those are some solid ass deets that and you I've, I've have known plucked. I've for a few years, but we don't talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so Nathan, Nathan has had one conversation with Julia, and it was, "How was your commute?" <laughs> oh, it was good. I played Legend of Zelda, and then Nathan never <laughs> talked to Julia ever I like, again. I got it. I know everything I need to know. <laughs> okay, so you're. It looks like you're drawing. A, a shoe bill from the Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword. That's right. I got that yeah. poll. Yeah. Yeah, man. Because uh, I think that if I could get Julia anything, it mm-hmm. would be a way that she did not have to uh, ride the Long Island Railroad because right. it sounds, it sounds like an absolute nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you and, are correct. And why not get her uh, a, a Zelda-themed mode of transportation? The the Long Island Railroad is ranked. Uh, Last, last place on trains.com. <laughs> All trains.com. All tra- Thomas the Tank Engine comes first. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah. Long Thomas Island Road is way down there. Mm-hmm. This what? is both a very considerate and thoughtful gift of you, Nathan. Yeah, yeah it's not funny, so <laughs> it, it better be the other ones. Nobody had to die? I, I mean, I guess <laughs> Julia might die if she falls off this bird, but That's like. True. I trust her. I mean, Julia. That, oh, that's the other thing. Julia. Julia's uh, got back from Japan, where she made lots of bird friends. Oh, that's true. <laughs> do you <laughs> still keep in? Julia, do you still keep in touch with your bird friends from Japan? Yeah, you know, they they fly to my house. I uh-huh. give them a message, and uh, we hang out a little bit, and then they fly back like a carrier pigeon, mm-hmm. uh, and then they tell the rest of the the squad. 
Nice. And, uh, you know, we catch up on old times. Uh -huh. Remember what? that time where I thought you pooped on my back? Yeah. <laughs> that was good times. Did, did it what was actually your... No, it did not. You just, you just thought it did. I just thought it did. It just... It dropped the feather is what happened. What was that's your what, favorite? That's what they call... That's, that's bird slang for... <laughs> oh, I gotta go drop a feather. <laughs> what, um, Julia... Yes. What was your what was your favorite bird encounter in Japan? Um, there's a hawk cafe called yeah. Hawkeye Cafe. Great. Uh, very clever. Uh, the guy. Oh, you should have gone in your in your in Riza, my Hawkeye costume. In your Riza Hawkeye costume. Yeah. I was say. Uh, I did not have it at that moment. I bought it right after that. Um, mm. it's what gave you the idea. It, it is what gave me the idea. I was like, oh, you know what? Not watching the anime. Told me to buy this. <laughs> no, going going to a Hawkeye cafe told me to buy this costume. No, um, uh, I feel I like you would have you would have gone there, and to me, when you go to a Hawkeye cafe, it's only Hawkeyes. I feel like that's <laughs> when you describe that to me. That was what I was picturing. It's just everyone is dressed up as Riza Hawkeye from Full Metal Alchemist. It, just, it has nothing to do with hawks. Just a bunch of mildly unamused blonde yeah. ladies. <laughs> and a lot of it's the only place you're allowed to carry a gun in Japan. <laughs> It's a very dangerous went, place. If I went dressed as Hawkeye, I think mm -hmm. the guy would have just not let me through the door. <laughs> he would have just... He, he had a lot of falcons, so I feel like he just would have had them attack me. Yeah. There, leave. There's just a sign up front that says no Hawkeyes. <laughs> no full got, medals. Yeah. <laughs> Zero reasons. Oh, and there you are. Man, you look majestic. I do look majestic. This is infinitely preferable to my actual commute. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess the only problem is you probably can't play uh, video games while you're doing this. I think I can multitask. Okay. I mean, like, uh, yes. probably not probably not the, the first time you do it, but, mm -hmm. like, yeah. you'll get the hang of it. But you're I not going to, yeah, you're not going to, like, run into, not like you're going to run into any traffic or anything. Nah. Maybe nah. some helicopters. Mm -hmm. They should well, know better. a pretty busy place. <laughs> well, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Yeah. I'm loving this. This is so beautiful and thoughtful. Unlike Justin, who straight up, <laughs> straight up killed himself, which is, I mean, like pretty thoughtful. The sacrifice, really. Yeah, I mean, it's thoughtful in, in a different way, I guess. Yeah. Because it's like. Beaks work like. No, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got that little that little lip on there. I like it. Well, great. Um, Nathan, this. this is this is this wonderful. Is nice. There you go, Julia. Have way to go. Thanks, Nate. I'm a, hold on. This is your present, so I gotta give a little bow. Yay! Oh. Christmas bow. The bow is just covering its eyes. Yeah. Right on his eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess uh, Julia, you're you're our last our last drawer. Would hey, you I'm... like to by, step in? By process of yes. elimination, I figured yep. out I figured out who you're drawing for. <laughs> I'm, I'm drawing for Randy McKay. Yay! <laughs> I I used Randy process McKay. of elimination wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you. You didn't, I, you didn't notice I didn't that you factor myself into you this. didn't notice that you had not been given a gift yet. Oh, See, no. that's a self. <laughs> it's the season of giving. You got to draw Randy. That's self -esteem. so self. That's so selfless. <laughs> okay. Well, now well, I can. All right, right, Julia. We, we can look at. I was using. I was using a reference. For you that were. for that draw, oh, so I we, see. we didn't get to see Caldwell's face for that whole time. I'm gonna use this color. You missed out. I was um I was picking all sorts of bugs in that spare time. You can turn oh, the, the, the whatever. Just just off. really clawing at some choice bugs. The, uh, pressure I, sensitivity. I, I really wanted to see what color your bugs kind of are. It's a question that I've I've had. They oh. are, str They are like all different colors. None of them are green. None of them are the right color. I'll tell you that much. Um, <laughs> I I don't know what I'm inhaling. Or what I'm eating, or what's causing it, but most of them are just you know they're all all primaries, all primary colors, just reds, so yellows, blues. blues. Reds, yellows, yeah. blue. Are you talking about primary colors of light or primary colors of pigment? Uh, pigment. So actually, it's it's more like a cyan and yeah. a um, a yellow and a magenta and a black. Yes. Uh, so that's the elusive black booger. Yeah, the, exactly. It, the it's elusive, it's a very the long sought after black. But you get mm -hmm. you get black boogers if you if you like. I used to get black boogers in uh, in in like middle school because what? I'd be I'd be like sketching a bunch. Yeah. In my, oh. In my sketchbook and my my fingers would be all covered in graphite. And then I I'd figured go, I'd go for a good pick. Yeah. And you you pull it out and it's just it's just all it's just all graphite covered. I figured you were like inhaling the graphite so as to gain the powers of the graphite. You thought that maybe like it was like you, well, that you figured too. that. 
Mm -hmm. That too, also. Yeah. But yeah. mostly, mostly just sticking my fingies up, up in, up on in. Natch. If I call, if I say fingies, it makes it less gross sounding. Uh -huh. Oh, it's still it's gross. Super cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still gross. <laughs> it's actually more gross. Just because I, I'm picturing you. Randy liked it. I, I Randy, did like it. Randy's a very. Give me some food for that. Randy's a very positive, uh, positive influence in my life. Yeah, that, uh, an enabler. Thank you, Randy. R thank Randy thank you for. <laughs> I say go for it. Okay. No matter what. Go for it. Is are you? Live your dream. Did you get him a cyclops? So, I think I took a, a very different take than what everyone else is doing, and uh, I'm I'm just drawing an image that I think that Randy McKay would actually like. I like that. To keep on like his, I don't know, on his computer somewhere. So you're actually drawing him like what you would what you would actually get him, I, I which is which is a, a cool gift. which is a cool drawing. You're That's just great. Giving him a cool drawing. So uh, I hope it comes out cool. To it's me, cool. it's already cool. I know this boy. You do know this boy. So something I know about Randy McKay, uh, half information wise, is that he is a big comic boy. Mm. Right? Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. I needed that to be confirmed. Yeah. No one said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. No, I, I just assumed I got this you wrong. didn't need me to confirm because that's you what you're. Well. I I did know, but the thing that I don't know is what your favorite X Man is. Ooh. Mm. So should I, I went should with. Should I say it or should we just keep drawing this? Well, I well I went with Pretty Boy. Just say, just say Cyclops. It's, just say it's Cyclops. Oh, of course. Your <laughs> favorite. It's just just she's already. <laughs> it's it's your Cyclops the Hedgehog. Is definitely Cyclops. Yeah. <laughs> This is Cyclops with like cool yeah. anime hair. Oh yeah, though. yeah. I picked up a picture of him, and of course I went with the uh, Capcom versus. SMK, oh yeah. Or Capcom versus Marvel. Cyclops. Cyclops, and he has this weird like cloud strife back to his hair. I, love I like it. it. It's uh, yeah. I, I like you. You've incorporated um, a little bit of Randy's own drawing by making him kind of like a Cyclops the Hedgehog. A little bit. Yes. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do though to like. Give it a little and, and apparently, okay, flare. Apparently, this Cyclops is just a human thumb. In addition to yeah. being a, a good uh, a good comic boy, Randy is also a, a big a big fashion boy. Aww, mm -hmm. you guys knew. It's, well, yeah, yeah. I like that about Randy is that he's just like it's up front. You meet Randy and he says, "Hi, Randy McKay, uh, big time comic boy, even bigger fashion boy." That's and then, right. And then he winks at you twice, pops his collar, and then and then glides away on a skateboard. Yeah. Yeah, so the skateboard part is more toys. like what I was thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going with, I made him real thick, by the way. Yeah, you gave I him noticed. A, nice, a nice fat neck. Yeah, really <laughs> good. Uh-oh. So, Wait a minute. Oh, you, you're making oh. it to put, to put on a skateboard. It's a deck. <laughs> oh, wow. So, I, I thought that, okay. Whoa. That's Whoa. impressive. Because Randy McKay likes to skateboard around the office. Well, not so much around the office, but to the office. Or a little bit around the office. Congratulations. A little bit around the office. Around the office. So, hey, um, hey, Randy. I'm doing it now. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Let me come back. I think Caldwell was saying something. I yeah. just wanted to say, like, just, you know. <laughs> That's the sound a skateboard makes, right? <laughs> That's the sound I just made <laughs> on my skateboard. I, I I'm just I'm just picturing you going. Oh, he to... goes. Here comes to get. All right, all right. <laughs> and keep making your skateboard noise. That's <laughs> that's good. That's a good. That's a good so substitute for comedy. Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I'm just picturing you going to the skate park and everyone's showing off their decks, and they're like, oh, I've just got this like normal sized skinny man cyclops uh, deck, and then you roll up and you're like, Nah, boy, fashionable fat cyclops, chubby yeah. chubby <laughs> summers. Here's yeah. me and my chubby summers deck. Top that boy. Well, I wasn't thinking so much. Of, oh, like, oh, it's just even better. He, he's just he's do. just he's just carrying it. Oh, like a oh, well, box. he's carrying it like a cool. Okay, I'm liking all these guesses because it's not where I'm going. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna keep guessing then. If that's he's all right. talking yeah, please, on. No, yeah. please he's do. talking on it like it's a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> he's I saying, think this is hey, from. Hey, it's me because he. Here's the thing about his. Uh, his uh, visor, he he actually can't see at out all. of it at no. all. So he just like will pick up a thing, <laughs> and, uh, and he's just like, "Is this my phone? <laughs> I think this is my phone." Hey, hey, Gene, it's me. This Sky is um, Cops. this is the uh, in, in the the totally rad radical uh, Marvel universe where his name is Scoot Summers. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is yeah. This is a uh, in the in the late. So in the early it. 90s, they did like a, a, a totally radical universe, which was a, a departure series, kind of like a what if uh, <laughs> series of comics, if you will. Yeah, but rather um, than those. Yeah. Well, and Andy, Andy wants to say something. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I have my headphones off, so I can't hear Caldwell because he's in LA. So Missing it sounds out. like people are like making a lot of jokes, and then there's just awkward silence <laughs> 30 seconds after anybody says anything. So Nathan will just like say something, and everybody will be dead quiet. Just the way I like it. Yeah, no one, no one in this office finds me funny or amusing. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's just you, Caldwell. You, you're the reason. Uh, for the season. That's true. Well, the inspiration. The my inspiration. voice, my voice in and of itself just brings joy. That's my gift to you today. It's like uh, no one feels, the joy no one feels obligated to laugh because uh, they they hear yours and they're like, oh well, he's he's got it. He's we'll got catch all it. The mirth. Yeah. He's got we'll catch. Mirth, mirth locked. Yeah. Catch what? All right. So th- is this Julia? Yeah, can man. you can you? Can you give us like the final sh- final rundown of what what you've drawn here? So it's a totally radical cyclops, like uh-huh. uh, the kind that you would find uh, on a uh, like a t-shirt. Yeah. Oh. So like if you pop some like '80s colors in there. Oh man. Dang. Look at it. Look go. at that. Boom. Nicely done. I mean, real fat, but there like you go. That booger. To me, I mean, everyone was kind of fat in the '80s, right? Is that- well, that should be a song. People Everyone were just a little less beautiful. Everyone was kind of fat in the 80s. Thank you. <laughs> that was exactly what I wanted from that. Mall generation, right? Yep. days were no fat. There you go. So I, I like that this, to me, this looks like a... Me fat. Me fat. Nathan's just going to keep making noises in this. Me fat tonight. I don't want to make you thin. So get fat. So get real fat. Eat it up. I can't. I mean, I, I don't. What, I'm not going to be able to just, top that. Polo's just shaking his head. <laughs> I'm just like desperately trying to say something, but Nathan keeps singing songs about being fat. Hey, Nathan, <laughs> quit, quit biting Weird Al style. We, we, he did that, man. He did, that. he did the ultimate one of those. In yeah. Fact. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know what you're what you're trying to play here. I don't know what what, what game you're after. Um. You know, they they call me office uh, worse worse weird Al. <laughs> less less weird Al. Less less good and also less weird. <laughs> and also less, less weird Al. And also less Al. Average Owl. Average Owl. I just wanted to say I feel like this would work as a um as like a stamp or like oh, a seal. Oh yeah, it's getting so cool. Like you could put this I feel like instead of grading something or instead of like approving a, a like a project or something like that, you slap this on there. Yeah. yeah. Dude. So this from is, now on, you, you can either get in Julia's class, you get mm-hmm. an A, an A plus, or a totally radical Cyclops stamp. Right, yep. man. That is Which reserved like, for the best. The I best. Feel like the best boy. work. There you go. Congratulations. You you've been your. This is your performance review, Randy, for the year. Um, and you are totally radical. Uh, Thanks, zero, y- you don't get a bonus, but you do get- <laughs> <laughs> wait, can we talk about my benefits? No, no? you check out this sweet ass sticker you got, man. That's great. You can it's take that nice to sticker, any, but I need to pay rent. Uh, no, yeah, this is great. Just show this to Etna and they'll, they'll get y'all sorted. <laughs> yeah. Show oh. this, show this to your landlord and they'll be <laughs> like, wow, that's really cool. I don't even remember what I came over for. <laughs> Bye. And then like, you'll get an email later. Like, oh, I remember it was rent. <laughs> I think yeah. I, I think this will this will buy you at least a month of just like your landlord looking at this this sticker and being like, dang, dang. I'm just gonna post dang. it on my door then. So every time he comes up to my door asking for the rent, like he does, mm-hmm. he'll just be like, oh, totally. Wait, no, this is the rad apartment. They don't pay rent. <laughs> they don't pay rent. They just pay rad. <laughs> there's no. There's yeah. The, this apartment is, is too radical. Uh, there's no no roof on this apartment. No uh, roof. Also, no utilities. Yeah, right. Nope. That roof. That roof. That roof was on fire. Can can I can I hop in? Yes, please yeah. do. Um, yeah, I, I would I would like to draw something for for the final the final recipient on our list. Guess who that is? That's right. Is the fans? Oh, it's the fans. It's the fans. Yay. I miscalculated again. <laughs> <laughs> Randy thought it was him again. Randy was like, Tony? Is Wait, Tony like, here? Is it us? Is yeah. it us? Tony just like pops into frame. Hey guys, it's me. It's Tony. Oh, it's it's me, me, Tony. 
Siri. That's a good Tony. Siri, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, um, I'm going to draw something for the audience. Uh, my my uh, my favorite person of the year, uh, but I didn't know what to get them, so I just got them socks. Everybody needs socks. That's true. I got them this one, but I just got them one sock. I took a I took a, a lesson um, from Randy. Yeah. Just one sock. Randy Randy wandered off. Randy Randy skated away. Fair enough. He's he he's on his rad skateboard. He's, he's gone. He skated away to go uh, share his gift with the world. Ooh. So I drew this one I sock. Just made a gross noise. I heard that gross noise. I'm so sorry. It's it's for everyone now, Nathan. Ugh. That noise is for the world. You you shared it. It's on the internet now. Mm. Thank you. This is the new Christmas fable. Uh, the weird noise that Nathan made. That's a children's book. You, everyone will be able to buy. Um, it's two pages. Page one, Nathan made a weird noise. Page two, uh, everyone did not like it. <laughs> no moral. So Jeez, spoilers. Th- this is the sock. This is the Christmas sock. Um, for our fans. For our fans. For another another great year of Drawfee. Mm-hmm. I'm going to draw a flag in there. Actually, you know what? You think it's just a sock. It's not. It's full of cake. Ooh, that Ooh. that's cool. So, so this is a different tradition than mm-hmm. the onion socks. Yes. The uh, uh, tu- tuber, tuber knocked. <laughs> <laughs> tuber knocked, yeah. So this is, um, if, you're a good, if you're a good fan, which all of our fans were, uh, you, get the, you get the sock full of cake. It's got one candle. Uh, and it's everyone like, will wake it's up. It's like you, you, you ruin both the cake and the sock. <laughs> like you make them, it's, it's two, two good things that uh-huh. by combining both Go become bad together. Worse. Two it's bad really, things that are bad together. <laughs> it's really incredible. <laughs> it's like I neither would want to wear a sock filled with cake uh-huh. or eat cake that has been in a sock. It is a really bad would you rather. Yeah, <laughs> which I guess I'd probably wear the sock. That sure. I, like, I. How long do I have to wear the sock? Um, a couple days. A couple days. <laughs> yeah. So longer than I would wear just a regular sock, even. Yeah, yeah. But like, that's. You really got to get that cake in there. You got to get all mushed <laughs> it's, up. It's. It's really been mushed in there. Carl's hands are filthy with cake. This is a, a classic recipe. Uh, this is the only way to get that that sweet sweet cake cake pudding what's what's really impressive is Mm -hmm. that candle was on top of the cake and lit while you were stuffing it into the sock you didn't Uh didn't just put that on top after you gotta light the candle first yeah that's how you know it's it's part of the challenge it's that's like it's the effort that went into it Mm -hmm. that's the real gift so yeah again this is the new um this is how i mean i don't know how your grandmother made sock cake but uh (laughs) this was the recipe that my grandmother always followed (laughs) Uh, and then you, so this is like a really, this is a gift that keeps on giving because you'd be able to like, I'm giving you this sock cake, but then you wear the socks and then you've got some cake for you. You've got some, some nice bread pudding for your friends to share. <laughs> That's actually how bread pudding is made. It's yes. Just, it's just <laughs> all bread pudding was at one point cake that was inside of a sock. Uh-huh. Yeah. I thought everyone knew that. I don't know why you felt the need to explain that incredibly obvious fact, but I guess, hey, you know. So, sometimes... Sometimes I like to over-explain. That's fair. I, you know, uh, maybe we've got some um, listeners from abroad that don't know uh, as much about European cooking as, as, as we might expect they do. So I think it's good. Let me just draw some drips on here. So Please. abroad, but not in Europe. Right. You know, like there are other places. We, we know about Europe. Us, <laughs> us guys. <laughs> totally. If there's one thing we've consistently known about on this show, it's Hell other yeah. countries, specifically... Uh, yeah. Specifically European ones. One hundred percent. No, no question, no problem. No question, no problem. Oh my goodness, you guys, <laughs> so you guys are the, the fans. You guys are the real, mm-hmm. the real heroes. The troopers. You, you, you stick, you stick by us through all our gross sounds mm-hmm. and all our bad <laughs> gifts. All of our uh, incredibly boisterous over talking. And. Uh, we we hope you guys all have have good holidays, regardless of what you're celebrating. Even if you're not celebrating anything, mm-hmm. uh, celebrate yourself. Celebrate exactly. Uh, just just being just being great. Buy yourself buy your own cake. Buy your own sock cake. <laughs> buy some socks. Buy some cake. You got yourself a Christmas bake. That's, that's uh, how the rhyme goes. That's all the rhyme goes. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Have a wonderful holiday, and we are very, very sorry.
Bye. Bye. Sing that. Sing that fat song.